Hey everybody, this is Ross. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a very simple technique for you all. It's called notching. And the reason why we're doing this technique is because I wanna recover uh, my rootstock. I want my rootstock on this particular tree here that we're looking at, I want the rootstock to continue to grow, um, to put out a shoot so that I can recover it and then reclaim that variety and have it fruit for me. Um, on top, I have a variety called uh, Black Portuguese. And if I really wanted to recover this rootstock, I could cut off the entire scion, um, everything up here. I could cut this off and then the rootstock could grow. But in order to get this rootstock to grow while preserving the scion, I could just make a notch below the, the graft union, above a node on the rootstock. And, um, with enough luck and the right plant hormones, I could actually get myself uh, a shoot from the bottom to come up, to come up, and uh, that way I can recover this variety. Uh, you know, you could see all the growth up here. This is the growth that is growing right now because in the top of our trees, they have a plant hormone called auxin. And auxin is then suppressing all the lower growth. It goes through the branches and through the trunk and suppresses the lower growth. And this is kind of what gets our, um, our branches here dominance. So these guys up at the top have all the dominance, suppressing the lower growth. And because of that, we're not gonna get a shoot from the bottom. What I have done is actually moved away the soil just on the surface to see if I had a chance of a sucker to come up. I'm sure that's possible. Happens all the time with figs. Uh, but to increase my chances here, what I'm going to do is actually find myself a somewhat decent bud and I'm going to do the notching. And it's very simple. I'm going to come in here with a knife. In this case, I'm going to use my pruning shears. And I'm going to basically go into the bark past the cambium right above where that node is. I'm not going to take anything off. I'm just... <clears throat> making an incision here. And this could potentially, right at that point, get myself, because now the oxen flow is being interrupted. It's now stopped at that particular point that I made that cut. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring the camera in so you guys can see this. Excuse the camera work here for a second here, guys. A lot going on in this greenhouse right now but you maybe can make this out here I'm gonna zoom in here for you guys all right perfect so we made the cut right here it's very difficult to see because it's not really all that big it's just a nice little incision right above this node. And you can see that, sort of that line right there. And that, like I said, is going to interrupt the flow of oxen flowing downward. Stop it here at this point. It'll go around this side and around this side, but it's not going to be interrupted right here. And because of that, I may be able to get this bud to be activated uh, with enough luck. We can recover this variety and uh, not just have the scion that I am quite fond of on this particular variety. But uh, it won't just be the scion, it'll actually be the rootstock that I've recovered. And uh, it's a great technique. It's interesting, it's worth a shot. You can also do this to promote branching as well. If you want a lower branch, maybe you don't like the form of your tree, just try the notching and see what happens. Um, it works pretty often on figs. They're very easy to, uh, manipulate that dominance and they are a very dominant type tree so uh yeah i want to thank you guys here for watching this little short video here just a little interesting tip trick you guys can use in your arsenal uh check us out on fig boss facebook and instagram we will see everybody soon see you for tomorrow's video